Inocente, I'm on the wind, say so you don't who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies Put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone It's solely my job in Salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community And give my opinion because my opinion matters Sorry about that, Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia First and foremost, I do apologize, I'm in the trailita today uh, Unfortunately, it's street sweeping and I don't want to do all the moving around the cars And at the end of the day, as long as I'm in a garage, y'all say you're good, you're good So if you see botes, tires, llantas, this is a trailita, so don't worry Aside from that, don't forget to subscribe at 200,000 subscribers We're doing $2,000 of a giveaway Originally, I was going to wrap off the bad bunny tickets but it looks like we're not gonna hit the 200,000 by the time you know the concerts are over you guys still have till december if we do hit 200,000 subscribers i think bad bunny's gonna be in mexico so i can i'll fly you guys out there i'll buy you two tickets not just for one person for two people uh so make sure you do subscribe you know i'm a man of my word if we hit that before the concert's over if not two thousand dollars but let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to i went on vacation for a week with no service and was scratching my neck like a crackhead for some cheese man what the are you doing? Don't freak out, dude. I'm gonna freak out. Hey, shit, hey, dude. You hey, need hey, to chill. Hey, Doing, hey, bro. That's a bitch. If you guys don't notice, now I have my boys full potential. Shit. Now, the first thing that we're actually going to get into, God damn, it's hot in here. I forgot the trailer ain't got no damn AC. Now, the first thing that we're actually going to be talking about, not the trailer, uh, did you guys see with the Laranja Desesita and Mr. Benny Salamancito? She recently posted a video where she actually got her house. When I seen that, I said, yay! Uh, because at the end of the day, these are kind of like my coworkers. They might not see it like that. They hate me, uh, but I have to consider them my coworkers. Y'all are my coworkers. It's just I'm not the favorite one. Yeah, feel me? I think I'm the coworker that they hate. Aside from the coworker that they do hate, they be hating on, Alondra bought a house and speak. Speaking of Haiti, they were saying that Benny Salamancito looked very, very upset in this video. Kept saying, we, kept saying, ours, and Alondra kept saying, I, 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 uh, which she should because she bought it. My I'm going to go sign the document. Yeah! Guys, I just sent the money and I'm so freaking excited. Like, I feel like it's just hitting me right now. Like, you're buying a house. This is Alondra's big day, her first house. The house. So we are very excited. We are very excited. <laughs> about our new business ventures in our lives i got the ball quick, rolling she I was got the like bar. i'm gonna get one tomorrow and really got one tomorrow i know because you know when i got the house it's shortly after the video we filmed of uh, me talking about like oh we should get a house you're like let's get an investment home the next day i was on it so yep now it's my turn shut the hell up shut up shut up this one is so cute I love it, but I feel like it gives like farmhouse vibes, right? Yeah, that's like for a barn. I like it though. We ain't in no barn. That one. Now, before a chia brain, peanut head, peanut that fly boy, flea boy starts commenting. Y'all are raging. Y'all are raging. Okay, first and foremost, I'm not the one making these claims. If there's 500 people, a thousand likes on a comment, you have to understand there's a thousand other people who are thinking this. So don't say, you're raging. You're no, peanut head. People are liking it. And there's multiple, several comments of the same thing. Uh, it's not somebody's reaching. Everybody's thinking the same thing. You feel me? Y'all just get mad because I share what everybody's thinking. You feel me? But don't get mad at me. Get mad at them. If y'all are mad and want to say they're reaching, go to that comment section. But don't come over here saying that. Bubble. You're not reaching. You're not reaching. Comete caca de la masa guada y trágatela. Trágatela entera. Enterita, por favor. Jesus Christ. Every time I see on TikTok, you're reaching. You're reaching. Cállate. Cállate. But aside from the reaching, the only thing I'd be reaching for is for the stars. Shine bright like a diamond in the star. Now, when I seen the comment, I didn't really watch the full video to see if he kept saying ours, we, etc., etc. But some people were saying that she was saying I, I, I. Just like I mentioned, I think she has all the right to say I. Benny did say in a video he didn't want to buy a house that he was blah, blah, blah. But Alondra said, then you're good. You're good. Me subo los pantalones. Me amaro los huevillos. And I'm getting a house. And I said, sheesh. 
Weesh. But make sure to comment down below. Do you guys think the people were reaching in that comment section? Uh, you know, basically calling on Mr. Benny Salomoncito, or do you guys just think that you know Benny is gonna do his own thing? He's on his own, you know, path. And did you guys see shine together? But aside from the shining together, did you guys see somebody who's not shining together, which is the Annette sisters? Because Miss Annette sixty nine actually posted this on her Q and A. Mike, I feel like you and your sis are not on talking terms. Is my FBI instincts correct? I'm not gonna say you're right, but I'm also not gonna say you're wrong. Zoming. Holy shit! I'm literally sweating. Wedding like a damn hyena, yeah, feel me. Now, basically, in this Q and A, somebody had asked her, uh, "Are you and Jenny sixty nine on good talking terms?" Yada yada yada. And I actually took some consideration and actually messaged her because if you don't remember last time, she was triggered when uh, I guess I was making the video. Yada yada yada. And she said, oh, "Why didn't you reach out to me?" And I did reach out to her, and this is what she told me. Mike, hey, remember how you said to DM you when Cheese Man was coming up? So what happened with you and Jenny? She stole the last bag of hot Cheetos at home, and we haven't talked ever since. I hope your video gets views. Oh my pay! Oh MG. Mm. Que sea la última vez that you tell me to tell you to reach out to you. If I'm gonna get some caca like that, don't send me some caca like that. If it's hot Cheetos, I'll go to the Stater Brothers right here. Stater Brothers is the best store out there. I'll go to Stater Brothers right now. Get you a big bag of chips. Y te los vas a tragar todos. Pero todos. What kind of boo boo is that? Now, I know she's just trolling. I feel me. Uh, and my thing is, they are, uh, you know, siblings. Siblings do fight. You know, I always fight with my sister, my manager. Yeah, I feel me. I fight with her. And the next day, we're shining bright like a diamond in the star. But ultimately, I, I know they probably have some sort of tension or whatever the case is. But I do feel like in the future, they're going to be, you're good, you're good. Uh, I don't know if they're really fighting for some bag of hot Cheetos. But like I said, we do have communication. If you guys do need some bag of Cheetos, I can be the one to take you the hot Cheetos. No problem. You're good. You're good. Shipping Express. And the next thing that we're actually going to be talking about, today we actually do have cheese. I love compiling it into one. Did you guys see with Burger King and Ulema? Now, it appears that the Lovebirds are going at it again. And Lovebirds as in, you know, on Twitter. It appears that they're going at it again uh, because Miss Ulema had this to say on Twitter and he actually followed up. Mike, imagine having the opportunity to be with your child and never being with him. Sad AF. I spend every night and morning with my son. When I have my days off, I'm with him. If I ain't working my ass off for my son, he wouldn't be straight. Not my fault that I'm blessed to have a dope job. Stop talking about my life with my son like you know about it. My boy healthy and happy. Log off, G. I, I can't remember the last time I ate. Ate, ate. We eating good tonight, baby. <laughs> Now, here's my thing, okay? The only thing that I have with an issue with you, Lemma, stop going on Twitter. Nobody gives a flying Dublin. You're only making yourself look bad and bad and bad. If you were already bad, you're making yourself again bad and look bad again, look more childish. And you have to understand, if the judge gave him whatever potential custody uh, for a little bit or just, uh, you know, temporarily, he did it for a reason. But do you feel me? A judge isn't going to care about, you know, no social media boo-boo. What is presented is facts, and the facts is what the judge says. All right, then. It's his and you're good. I don't know why she keeps getting upset that I guess he's partying or whatever. You know, if Yulema had the baby, she'd be doing the same flag in Dublin thing too. So uh, don't be getting mad at Mr. Burger King when Burger King, I guess that's his job uh, to go out and, you know, party and go to clubs. You know, I think they get paid to go promote the clubs. And at the end of the day, I don't think he's a bad father. Like I said, there's worse fathers than that. There's Tha. There, you know, there's people who really aren't even there. Yeah, feel me? So Miss Yulema, I'd say uh, we need to take away her iPad this time. You need to go with Mr. Tha. Uh, you know, takes a break. Take a few breathers. <sighs> and just relax and the next thing that we're actually gonna be talking about did you guys see with miss melody now a lot of people were speculating if she still talks to her dad or if they don't talk but recently on his tiktok she actually had this to say mike <laughs> So I do think they are on talking terms. If she's basically saying, let's go eat some mariscos over here in Arizona, that means he actually wants to see her. He also said, uh, I forgot the nickname that he said, Kuki, Chuki, or whatever the name is, uh, but I'm assuming that's referring to Miss Nikki. I think they just have a little bit of nicknames, that feel me? But I do think that's good that they still have a good relationship no matter what he did, yeah, feel me? Melody's still giving him a chance, the same way with Nikki. Now, did you guys see with Mr. V-Lex's sister? Now, I guess he has a sister, and the sister has a boyfriend. God, damn, I'm sweating like a piggy. And I guess she has, uh, I guess, a boyfriend or whatever. But a lot of people were commenting on the TikTok, but she removed the comments because I would personally find it a little bit weird too. And they were saying that uh, the boyfriend of, you know, the sister looks like Mr. Velex. Mike.
Zamank. Now look, I'm not one to hate, you feel me? If somebody's in love, they're in love. But you can't say that they don't look a little bit alike. It's weird, as weird as it is, as weird as it is, they look like the same person, you feel like a clone. But like I said, I don't think we should be disrespecting her, you know, this is the love of her life. I think they've been dating for five years, but some people were saying that this does look like Mr. V-Legs. Uh, ultimately, what do you guys think of that situation? If they do look alike or if they don't, are people tripping, tripping? Make sure to comment down below. And speaking of tripping, tripping, did y'all see we were tripping some meteorites, asteroids in the space? Now, I guess we sent like a satellite or something to try to, you know, smooth the impact of the rock and this happened. Mike. So that is good knowing that potentially if a rock was coming from Mother Earth, uh, we'll just get an object and hit it with the you're good, you're good and move the impact. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. If you guys made it towards the end of the video and you guys really do appreciate me, smack that like button and comment. Those two things boost us up, so, you know, to get you closer to the giveaway. Follow my social media and I really do appreciate you guys. Okay, mom, tell me. Este panadero, mm -hmm. si es orgulloso de su trabajo. Porque le hace las patitas, la colita, las orejitas y hasta el hociquito. Este panadero no le importa. Este parece que nomás hicieron como una huella, chueca. Mira, nomás una pata, nada de cola, un piquito, pero el pobre está deforme. Okay, mom, which bun was better? Que este marranito está un poquito más seco. Uh, cuando se lo, tal vez la gente que vaya a comer este, este marranito vaya a tener que remojarlo, eh, ya sea en leche o en café, para que tenga un poquito más de, que se disuelva más, porque está muy seco. Y este otro marranito está, tiene más sabor, no sé si sea la, el piloncillo o la miel que le ponen, pero tiene más sabor y no hay necesidad de que se remoje ya sea en, una, un, en un vaso de leche o en una taza de café.